Today, I'm going to show you how to create Draught of Living Death. So perfect, I dare say one drop could kill us all. Okay, so we will need one glass bottle, some rubbing alcohol, some light purple metallic water-based paint, some E6000 glue, a funnel for filling, a hot glue gun, a silver sharpie marker, some black cording, some skulls for embellishment, and one label printed on sticker paper, and the link for this is down below. Let's get started. To get started here, we're going to uncork the little glass bottle, and we are going to add the funnel, and then we are going to fill this with some rubbing alcohol. Once we fill it with alcohol, we're then just going to add a little bit of our purple metallic acrylic paint. And then we're going to recork this and shake it up. And as you can see, we get a really great swirling effect. So we are using the light lavender paint because when the draught of living death is brewed properly, it starts at a light purple color and then goes completely clear, which is what our potion will do as well. So as the mica settles, the alcohol will clear out and then we are left with a clear potion that when we shake up is lavender. Okay, so before I go any further on our potion, I'm going to let this sit for about an hour or so and let the mica settle because I want to make sure that our alcohol is going to remain clear. Sometimes you get a little bit of a milkiness or a tint to the color of the alcohol, and if that's the case, I'm going to want to be able to pour the alcohol out and replace it with fresh, clear alcohol. So I'm going to let this sit for one hour and we'll come back, and then I'll show you how to finish this bottle up. Okay, so as you can see, this has sat now for about an hour, hour and a half, and all of the mica is now at the bottom of the jar, but the solution is still kind of a purple color, so we're going to go ahead and dump out the purple alcohol and then refill it with clear. So as you can see, we got a really, really great, very light purple mica color, which is what I was actually going for. So um, the fact that we dumped out the dark purple um, alcohol leaves us with this really great light purple shimmer that will then go clear as it settles. So now let's finish up our bottle. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my E6000 glue, and we are going to glue the top of the cork on. Okay, so now that our cork is glued on, we are going to take a little bit of our black cording and we are just going to run a little bit right here at the neck of the bottle. So we are going to use the same technique that we've used on several different bottles. And we are going to... So we are going to use the same technique that we've used on several different bottles. We are going to make a loop. And then we are going to run the string around capturing the loop. And then we're going to trim the end. And 
and then we are going to put that end through the loop. And then pull the loop up to get any excess from the bottom. And then we're going to pull the bottom string And then we are going to pull that loop behind those strings. And then we'll just trim it flush. Okay, and now that we have our cording on, I'm going to take my hot glue gun here and we are just going to create some faux wax drips with the glue gun. So we are just going to go all over the cork and let it drip down the side. Okay, so now we are going to let this dry completely and then we're going to go over the drips with a silver sharpie or a silver paint marker. Whatever you have um, handy will work just fine. But um, then we're going to color in the glue with the sharpie so then that way it'll look like it's silver drips of wax. Okay, so now that our glue is dry, we are going to color it in with the silver. Okay, so now that we have all of the faux wax painted with the Sharpie, we're going to finish embellishing. Okay, so I picked these little skulls up in the um, Halloween Village collection at Michael's, um, but you could pick this up anywhere. It could just be any little skull. It could be a bead, anything like that. I'll put a link in the description down below to some smaller skulls. Um, as well, but I'd like to get him to match the silver just a little bit more So I just want to add some highlights of silver like under his eyes and maybe in his nose things like that And now we're going to glue our skull onto the top. And now we're going to add our label. Again, the link for this is in the description down below. And there you have it. Draught of Living Death, said to put the drinker into a death-like sleep. This will be a great addition to our potion prop collection we've been making along the way. 
So if you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.